hey girl hey welcome or welcome back to my channel i am your favorite girl a marie y'all know what time it is so let let oh okay okay i know things get real real serious <laughs> we have our april's monthly perfume haul it's too goddamn much okay Tell me why I just found out about the page perfume TikTok, TikTok perfume. I don't even be on TikTok. I be so ready to do these videos so that I can use these products. Oh, well, these perfumes. And I do have some more body care and hygiene stuff in there. I sprinkled in there. But yeah, I get so excited because if I use it before the month is up, I'm going to forget to put it back in this bucket. And y'all already know what bucket it is. Before we jump off into this, okay, I would love for you guys to consider subscribing, clicking the like button, or you can click the thumbs down button. Hey, look here. It's all engagement at this point. If you click the thumbs up or thumbs down comment positive or negative subscribe turn on your post notification so you won't miss another video from me all of it is engagement all of it is free it only takes maybe three minutes out of your day you can do it while watching the video now let's get into this perfume haul <laughs> it's heavy you know what, since we got this bag sitting here, let's just jump off into the deep end right out way. Perfumes at the beauty supply store. That's what all these bad boys are. So there's been this little hype in the perfume community where the beauty supply stores are now selling the perfume oils and sprays that are duping the higher end inspiration i want to share with y'all my beauty supply store because it's my favorite one but i don't want to share with you because y'all gonna go buy all the stuff up so just go to your beauty supply store and check out the perfumes so for starters i did go ahead and get two more of the oil roll-ons these at my beauty supply are 2 dollars so i got the unforgivable and it just say women type okay y'all my bad i heard some screaming outside it sounded like they playing I thought somebody was anyways so I got unforgivable and it says premium body oil so this one is real soft and light it almost gives me Paris Hilton vibes but light Paris Hilton vibes but these are $2.99 and these are just blended oils I guess that they get from someone I'm not for sure but the second one is Jamaican fruit and it smells exactly like what you're thinking. Pineapple, coconut. I don't know. It's like pineapple, coconut, some fruitiness. It, it's some fruitiness. So these $2.99. I'm going up in the price range. So the next one is going to be the $3.99, but these $3.99 ones are by the brand Have A Scent Collection. These are all roll-ons that I'm about to show you. They are 12 mLs, and the first one smells like Olympia. The notes are vanilla, woody, warm spice, warm spicy notes of water jasmine ginger flower and green mandarin salty and floral scent and it also says amber floral it's strong oh these oils last all day on your skin 
So the next one is going to be the infamous Delina. That's what this perfume oil smells like. And we all know Delina is like one of those great, great perfumes. Like everyone is in love with it. The notes in Delina, according to Amazon, the top notes is Rahaba, Rahaba, Rahaba. Lychee, bergamot incense, the hard notes is Turkish rose, peony, vanilla, the base notes is cashmere, cashmerian, musk, and vetiver. If you want to smell like Delina, but don't want to pay Delina money, here you are. Now, the only thing for me is I haven't smelled the Olympia. I haven't smelled Delina. To be honest with you guys, I only smell one. So I don't know how close or far off these inspirations are, but I'm just giving you what they say they smell like. The next one I got is Burberry Her, another fan favorite, another hyped up perfume that I want. My cousin told me to get Burberry Her. She was like, that's her favorite perfume. And I was looking for it in Marshalls, I think I was. And I found Burberry Touch. So I just went ahead and picked up that one. And Burberry Touch is like, mm, for me. Like, it's like, I could wear it, but it's not like a fan favorite, you know? Jasmine and Violet smoothed out with Amber and Musk. Forty Germain and A Scent of Freedom. I really like it. It smells like something I already own, though. And I'm going to figure it out. If I figure it out by the time I edit this video, I will have it linked. Uh, well, like, I will have it right here on the screen. But it smells like something I already own. The next one is I Want You. The Jimmy Choo. I Want You. Okay. So, let's talk about this. Me and my wife went to Ross one night. I think I told y'all this in the vlog. If y'all pay attention to my vlogs. We went into Ross one day and we found a Jimmy Choo perfume and it was for $58. But I couldn't tell if it was the Jimmy Choo I Want You. And me not thinking, I did not pull up that bottle online right then and there. So I didn't pick it up. A few days ago, out of nowhere, my wife texted me and was like, I ordered you Jimmy Choo, I Want You. And I was like, that's the one I've been wanting. Like, so many people talk about Jimmy Choo. So, I do have this one. But now that once I get Jimmy Choo in, that's going to be in May perfume haul. I will be able to compare it and let you guys know by the time I do that video. But I like this one. It is a soft smell too. So let me look up the notes of Jimmy Choo. And it says it's a warm, it's a sparkling floral, warm and spicy fragrance infused with velvet, peach, and vanilla that gives you a way to flora. Inflection of jasmine and red spider lily. I don't smell vanilla, warm, peachy, or none of that. So... I can't wait to get the Jimmy Choo in so that I can compare. So the next one will be Good Girl. And this is, is it Carolina Herrera? Is that right? Mm. It's Good Girl. It's a soft powdery scent. It's a richly fragrant cocoa, exciting tonka, while almond and coffee brings notes of bold vibrancy. That's not what I'm getting here neither. No, that's not what I'm getting here. If you guys have picked these roll-ons up, let me know. And you also know what these actual perfumes smell like. Let me know if the notes of the actual perfumes are vibing and matching with these roll-ons. Because my nose is not catching those, those notes at all. The next one is going to be the Valentino perfume. And is this Donna? Let's see. What who what's her name? 
and this is the original Valentino. I'm not getting those smells, but this smells damn good. This smells damn good. Now, in my Dillard's sample set that I got, I want to say that was maybe February's perfume haul or March, I do have Valentino in there, but I have yet to use it. Y'all know, if you don't know, I open up the Dillard's bag and I close my eyes and I blindly pick a perfume out. Whatever I pick, that's what I'm wearing. I have yet to pick up Valentino, but I can't wait to compare the two. And then the last one for the $3.99 section is the La Vie Estebelle. Estebella. And this is Lancome. And this is the one that I did smell because I have that one in my Dillard's sample set. And I have worn it and I put a star on that one because I really, really, really like the smell. And was thinking about getting the full size. And this here is a absolute match. I really wish I would have gotten this perfume rollerball before I used that sample. Oh, because it would have been bomb together. That is the only one I smelt. Okay. They have some more perfumes at my beauty supply, and these are $4.99. So it's by Prestige Fragrance. And this is the name. Okay. So the girl that works there, she was telling me like she really likes the fragrance butt naked. But they didn't have butt naked and they only had the tester and butt naked did smell good. But she was like, I also like this one too. So I just got it. I picked it up because she said she liked it. I didn't sniff it. It did have a tester, but I didn't sniff it. I only grabbed one. This is a soft powdery daytime flirty scent. It's a it's like it's powdery floral, but yet light. Now what I can say is I did spray this on the other day and I feel like I couldn't smell it once I sprayed it on. I can't say that this is like, oh, this is one of my favorites. Nah. It's just like, oh, okay, it's cool. And this one don't have no type of notes on it. So, so for the last three, this was with the Inspired by Roll-Ons. But these were $6.99 and these are sprays. Now, the person who made these or the brand who made these are Ryan Blake. So the first one is number 54 and it says our version of Baccarat Rouge. And y'all, it is. So many people are duping and insp inspired by Baccarat that you could almost say like, oh, nah, maybe that, nah, that one ain't that strong, this and that. No. This is it. Dossier, Ambery Saffron, Ariana Grande, The Blue Cloud, Finery, Not A New, Not, not What is it? A New Rouge? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I get my, I get my feel with it. Bath and Body Works, At First Sight, In The Men's Cologne, Baccarat Baby, okay? So if you don't have Baccarat coins, I just gave you a whole line of people that has dupes and inspiration. The next one is going to be their version of Prada Candy. Now, I think I have Prada Candy in my Dillard's bag, but I have yet to use it. This smells good. Oh, it smells so good. Hopefully, I do have this one so that I can compare it. And then the last one is their version of the YSL Black Opium. Now, I don't have YSL Black Opium, but I do have Finery, what is it called, on the outside? I think that's the name of it. It, it matches. It matches. So, 
that is everything that I got from the beauty supply. I'm going to go ahead and start off with Mimic. Found these body sprays at TJ Maxx for $9.99. I do have <clears throat> Compound 57, which is this Pistachio Tonka Woods. And this is Dupin Kayali's Pistachio, please. I think it's called. Y'all, please excuse the ghetto-ness going on outside, okay? I don't live in a hood, but these apartment complex be acting like it's hoodish okay literally garages is right here and you heard how that car sped off y'all manifest with me that i am getting a house within the next couple of months i'll be moving manifest it with me so the pistachio tonka wood top notes is pistachio cream and marshmallow the middle notes is jasmine peony and hazelnut the base notes is Tonka, Vanilla, and Sandalwood. Baby, when I say this is a good mixture of heaven. Ooh, it just smells so good. You know how many things this is going to be good to pair with. Now, I know from what people have been saying in the perfume community, the body, the body sprays don't last as long as the perfumes. But I also heard that the perfumes from Mimic don't last which I disagree with because I have one from Mimic and it's the Ariana Grande. It smells exactly like the Blue Cloud. I have the Blue Cloud. And that bad boy lasted on me all day. And Ariana Grande Blue Cloud is a really good scent. That perfume lasts days. <laughs> okay? You could take your clothes off, put it in the dirty clothes, and you're going to smell it the very next day i can't wait to test these out even if they don't last i do have a uh, pistachio dreams by finery if i'm not messing up their name i have it in a body mist this is a body mist i can layer it i also have a pistachio whipped body butter by pink sky okay so this one here was hyped up from the Excuse me, y'all. I've been drinking soda. This one has been hyped up by the perfume community. And I found this in, yeah, TJ Maxx. And this one was $5.99. Now, this doesn't, like, heavily smell like pistachio at all. So, layering is not going to be a problem to get my pistachio scent to last. Okay? It says it includes shea butter. And really, to me, that's exactly what it smells like shea butter to me and lightly 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 like almost so light you can't smell it of this pistachio i can't wait to layer all of these including the finery perfume that i have the other one i picked up oh, is compound 52 and it's sweet strawberry milk the top notes is strawberry raspberry and plum oh okay the middle note is milk baby powder and lotion the base note is sugar cubes amber and caramel girl now i'm not gonna lie when i read strawberry milk i immediately thought this would be good with strawberry pound cake off rip so to read those notes is like okay girl i'm about to be oh baby i'm about to be smelling nice okay Oh, sweeter than a fresh nothing but bun cake, okay? Like, what? Oh, baby, they give you all the sweet feels. You smell the raspberry. You can't smell the plum. You smell the strawberry. You smell the raspberry. I don't smell the baby powder. Oh, girl, that smell good. Maybe a little bit of the amber and the caramel. Oh, oh. Okay, moving on. I'm trying not to go so long with them. So, as y'all know, if y'all been watching, I did get Jackie Anna's Forever Mood. I am her. I don't know if y'all watch my vlogs, but maybe I was excited. I got this on launch day, and I need to go back and get the other three because she smells good. Yes. She smells good. 
quickly let me pull up the notes because it's not on the box so the fragrance family is warm and spicy the scent type is warm and sweet gourmand key notes is red velvet pear and oud you do smell the pear can i say you smell the raspberry because I, I did a whole spiel on my vlog i will have the vlog listed right here you smell the raspberry, you smell the pear, you smell the ooh, you smell the warm and spiciness. It's heavy. Oh, y'all, this is just so freaking delicious. I could wear that every day, all day, like as a regular everyday scent. Like that could easily be my scent, like for real, for real. Really quick, Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. It says next gen sweet pineapple and honeydew melon hemp seed body lotion smells exactly like pineapples and melons okay just like it oh it smells just like it and I picked this up because of my pineapple perfume from five below mixed in with my pineapple body oil that I made topped with this i think i got myself a banger speaking of oils vitamin e body oils pick these up i don't think i showed you guys i did do the tiktok hack this one girl my cousin sent me i think i talked about this in last month's perfume haul the girl went and picked up these type of body oils and put those roll-on oils she bust those open and poured it into here and made her own perfume body oil. If you get what I'm saying, I will have that girl TikTok linked down below so y'all can see. But I picked up two more just in case I want to make some more of my own personal body oils. There we go. And then I did pick up this Dove Beauty Cream. Now, it doesn't have a scent. It just says for soft and hydrating skin for face and body. It smells good. It smells good. It smells like a Dove body wash. It's exactly what it smells like. I just don't know which one, but this easily puts me at Dove body wash. So I got this to put in my purse, honestly, which I already got a lotion. I got Gangnam in my purse, but whatever. Moving on, Coach Poppy Crush. Y'all, I didn't know anything about Coach Poppy Crush. We got this from Ross Marshall's Ross. We got this from Ross. I used to love Coach purses and stuff like that back in the day. I still do, I just can't afford them right now. <laughs> so I used to love the Coach purses and I was like, they have a perfume, girl, where do I be? I was like, they have a perfume, I'ma get it. Me thinking this is gonna be a big ass perfume. Girl, this is what it is. Okay, I was so disappointed. So the top fragrance notes is Honeysuckle. It says Honeysuckle, the hard notes is Mandarin Orange and the base note is Vanilla. And it also is in the family of floral. That's honeysuckle. I was like, this smell is so familiar. I don't know if y'all, when y'all were kids and they used to have honeysuckles like in the yard and stuff like that, and we would pull them off and eat them. Probably wasn't healthy for us, but we were kids. And it smells just like that that is exactly it and it's I, this perfume to say it was so small it's i don't have that i don't have that smell nowhere so i'm a little okay with that one so moving on i did find my first 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 ever mini so i always see everybody having these mini collections and they have it on the little carousel and it's so cute baby i wanted to start digging off into the minis whether i use them or not i just wanted to collect them so i found 
Coach Wild Rose. Now, once again, didn't know nothing about Coach Perfume. So to get it for $8.99, I was like, yes. And when I seen the mini, I was like, oh, yes, I love it. Super cute. So, yes, I do have to buy me a carousel so that I can start putting my little minis and collecting my minis, using them from time to time. So it says floral rose blooms and a warm woody and bronson. Okay, so let me smell it. Now, the only thing with these minis, the tops pop off and they have this little stopper in it. You have to be careful. Oh yeah, this smells like amber. Like, honestly, honestly, this smells like a light, light version of Baccarat. Damn, it does pop open and, and you spill shit everywhere, okay? <laughs> you spill it everywhere. Speaking of minis, funny thing about this MCM. Whoa. MCM collection, okay? So these were at Ross. Yeah, this was at Ross for $34.99. For some odd reason, I seen a MCM perfume, the full-size bottle, a while, while, while ago. And I seen it in like a Ross or Marshalls or somebody. And I was like, you know what? I wonder what that smells like. But it was locked up in the little cases that they do. So I was like, you know what? Mm -mm, I'm not going to get it because I, I don't know what it smells like. This and it. Me and my wife went to Ross. It's in the vlog. We came across MCM. We were looking at colognes. And... I seen this MCM and I was like, oh, you should try the MCM. I heard so many good things about the backpack, this and that, yada, yada, yada. This was after the fact that I had seen the big one. I seen that one, didn't know nothing about it. Then I got into the perfume community, heard a lot about MCM. So I was like, you should get the colognes. I wish they had the perfumes, this and that. I would try it too, this and that. So she got it. We get in a car to go to Walmart and here she is busting them open to smell them, y'all, why these perfumes? I was like, oh shoot, like my bad. I really thought it was colognes. No, they're little perfumes and they're minis too. So the only thing about these minis and these perfumes, you have to pop the top on these two and you have to be careful because they don't have a stopper. They smell so good. But I think if we're not mistaken, these two are the same as well as the two brown ones. Okay, so I don't know why MCM would have did it that way, but they did. So when we first sniffed them, I rubbed them on my hand and I was smelling and whichever one I rubbed, it turned completely black in that area and i was like whoa what is that about we couldn't figure it out i don't know if you guys know what that means let me know does that mean it's fake does that mean it's harmful can you put that on your body let your girl know all right so since it's not doing it on either hand i'm just assuming maybe something was on it i don't know my love for lamonde grant uh, I always say that wrong. I always say Lamonde Grame. Lamonde Gourmand. My love for them. They have one that's called La Appetini. Girl. And it was at TJ Maxx for $8. So it's a fruity, fresh, violet, powdery, green, woody, floral. That's what it gives you. But it smells so good. To me, it smells just like apples. Like, for real, for real. It smells like a green apple, y'all. So, if you come across this at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or anybody, get it. Because they no longer sell this anywhere that I'm looking. Even on this website, Fragrant. It's not showing it. It's showing the actual perfume, but no price. I think it'll pair really well with that, um... Who is it? Mix Bar, the passion fruit nectar with that i think it'll be good my mom just went to dubai and now she's in africa on vacation 
while she was in Dubai, she picked me up a perfume. And I don't know anything about this perfume. I don't know if she smelt it, but it's called Emotion Perfume. And it, it I can't even explain the smell. It smells good. I can't explain what it is. It looks like this. It smells so good. It's a soft powdery scent. Maybe a little amber in it. Oh, I, I let me let me just try to look it up. Nothing's coming up. I can't even link it for you, but it's a different smell. It's it's like something you never smelled before, and I love it. So thank you, mom, for sending me a Dubai perfume. I'm super excited to wear that, but I can't recommend it to y'all or anything like that because I can't find it. All right, next mix bar. Found this at the Ross too. Can't remember how much it was, but it is called Glass Rose, a scent that I haven't heard of. The notes are, it's a twist. It's a unique and irresistible twist on a traditional rose scent topped with a juicy raspberry and draped with amber woods. Y'all, Glass Rose, Strawberry Milk, Glass Rose, I am her. Glass Rose, Coach. Girl, I am slowly learning the type of scents I love. Now, I was afraid when I bought this blindly, considering I couldn't smell it. I was afraid that it was gonna smell like straight roses. Now, I do have a Lamonde Guermain perfume that is a straight rose scent. <clears throat> it literally smells like fresh cut flowers and it's strong like it projects. That one I have worn alone, but I feel like it needs to be paired and mixed in with something else so it won't be too just a bouquet of flowers. <laughs> so I was scared that this one may be that type of ordeal, but thank God it's not. And I'm I'm starting to learn like with the fruits, the amber, the vanilla, the tonka bean, like that is my era of perfumes that I like. Okay. Now, a lot of people like to wear perfumes going by the seasons. I am not there yet. I just wear what I feel, I feel like I should be wearing. I have learned from Platinum D to do a perfume tray weekly if you guys don't know who Platinum D is here on YouTube, y'all should watch her, her vlogs. She does a perfume tray every single week because she has a crap ton of perfumes herself. So she does a perfume tray every week. I have shown one of my perfume trays um, in one of my vlogs, but I don't do it on my vlogs like where y'all see the different perfume each week. But behind the scenes on the daily, yes, I put wherever I feel like I need to test out and wear type of ordeal. And it's just a good way to go through your perfume so you don't leave nobody behind. You get to know what you do like, what you don't like, or you get to experiment with your layering and comboing. So I thank Platinum D for that, okay, because she does it faithfully every vlog. Let's talk about the Tree Hut Pink Hibiscus foaming gel wash. I want to go back and get the scrub. I want to go back and get the lotion. I want to go back and get the body spray. If it has all that, I want to get it because baby, I love me some hibiscus. Okay. So this will be my first tree hood gel wash. <sighs> Ain't that crazy? I've been going live and hard with skincare, not skincare, well skincare too, but body care products. And I have some Tree Hut body scrubs, but I never dropped their gel washes. And this smells so juicy, fruity, and summer filled. Oh, that sparkling hibiscus from Mix Bar would probably go damn good with this. But unfortunately, I don't have it. So this says, experience a burst of warm florals while our ingredients work hard to help balance lang lang and tone hibiscus your skin it says avocado kiwi and orange oils 
contain oxidants and moisturizing prop properties. So that's all it gives you. I cannot wait to try this. And I love that Tree Hut give you, they don't skimp on the products. It, it goes all the way to the neck. You see that? They don't skimp you. Thank you Tree Hut for not skimping us. Okay, this says 18 fluid ounces and they gave you every bit of 18 ounces. If y'all seen my grocery shop with me, I went to the body care section in our Walmart and our Walmart sucks majority of the time and they were fully stocked of things that I had yet to see and I was like sucked in I came across Bodycology they had some new scents so I did pick up the pink vanilla wish body cream and the pink vanilla wish fragrance mist and the notes in here is embrace your heart's wish with this sparkling blend of warm vanilla almond and pink peony girl when i say this smells so good oh i was standing in walmart just sniffing and sniffing and sniffing god and this smells like something i got too what is it it's on the tip of my tongue is it vanilla bourbon I think it's vanilla bourbon from from Mix Bar, but I can't wait to find it to pair it because baby, your girl gonna be smelling good as hell. Also from Bodycology is the strawberry cheesecake. <clears throat> I need to get everything that Bodycology has at my Walmart right now. I need to get every last one of them and get the whole set. They even have candles like what girl I need to get the whole set okay because these smell good now I know bodycology don't last long like um like they say the mimic body <clears throat> body spray don't last and Lamond Gourmand Grande Lamond Gourmand they say it don't last long I do have one bodycology spray and lotion and I can say the lotion don't smell like, I think it's like s'mores something. The lotion don't smell like s'mores. It smells like cocoa butter. And this body spray does smell like a sweet graham cracker-ish, but it don't last. So to find stuff like this to layer and co combo with other things that do last, mm, y'all know what I was going to put with this, right? Let's say it together strawberry pound cake like yes that's what i was like yep gotta get it so this says it's it blah, blah, blah. smell as sweet as a decadent treat with notes of berry cream strawberry and vanilla no y'all this smells like a damn strawberry pound cake like it says cheesecake but it smells like strawberry pound cake absolutely like strawberry pound cake so if you got the bath and body work strawberry pound cake go and pick you up bodycology strawberry cheesecake pair all of it layer all of it from bathing to uh scrubbing to lotion to spray okay so the last one that i got from bodycology is the sun kissed lemons body wash and bubble bath i only got the body wash this is a refreshing and cheerful aroma of sunny citrus and warm amber. Y'all. You know what lemon cake smells like? That's what this is. It smells so good. I don't smell the amber in it at all. I don't. I don't smell the amber in it, but if it says it has warm amber in it, you could pair this with one of your good amber scents that you have. But I only picked up the body wash, which I am going to go back and get the rest of the Sun Kiss Lemon. I did only pick up the body wash because I had already purchased Bath & Body Works Famous Lemon Pound Cake Body Spray. Okay, I got this on the $5.95 sale 
and this is it's a sugary glazed icing pure lemon zest fluffy pound cake y'all this smells exactly how strawberry pound cake smells but in lemon form this is a sweet lemon not tart sour lemon freshly baked lemon cake like these two are gonna be bond back on together i already know i just need a lotion now <laughs> um bath and body works did come out with 10 fragrances that was inspired it's the luxury body mist but they're inspired by a high end and i got the viva vanilla yeah i got the viva vanilla it's rich plum glowing amber addictive vanilla y'all i can't remember what they said this was ariana grande i just smelled it if they said something different let me know down below because i remember the perfume community was giving every last one of what they smell like and i do feel like i need to go and get like maybe seven more of the scents i don't want all ten so the last two products is I did pick up the Brightest Bloom Body Mist. Y'all know I already got the Body Mist and the lotion and the bath wash. Well, I had to get the Diamond Shimmery because everybody say it's good to have for summer. So I was like, you know what? I don't have any. I don't have any of the Shimmer Mist from Bath & Body Works. So ugh. I was like, so let me get it. Let me get it so I can say I have one. If y'all don't know what the notes are to this one, it is Lily of the Valley, Jasmine Sambach, um, Guardian Carnations, and Fresh Cedarwood. Last but not least, okay, is the Sand Fog Discovery Set. Perfume community was bragging, ramping, and raving about this. So I found it at TJ Maxx for $9.99. And in here, it has the Flor de Vanilla and Violet Sandalwood. Sa sandalwood, yeah. I don't know why I thought Sandalwood. Girl, what am I thinking? Um, so for the vanilla, it's, the notes are lychee, orange blossom, rose, lang lang, and vanilla. What I told y'all. Boom. This one and glass rose. Baby, I got a, I got a thing. I got a thing going. And the Violet Saddle, Sandalwood is the Bergamot, Magnolia, Violet. What does Violet smell like? Ain't that a damn color? Violet and Cedarwood. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I have this Violet Sandalwood. Or I got Violet and something oil from Sand and Fog. And when I say that, bad boy smells and smells good. <sighs> Y'all, I got out the shower the other day and used that oil. And I rubbed it on my body from head to toe. Well, from head to ankle. I didn't put that oil on my feet. And then I just put on deodorant and I went on by my day. Like, I didn't put on no perfume or nothing. Y'all, my bed still has that scent my pullover still has that scent i smelt like that scent the next day until i took a shower sand and fog y'all did that y'all know how to put them oils together and make them bad boys last okay so let me smell this violet saddle sandalwood yep that's it that's exactly the one I have that I put on the other day. That's exactly it. I know that smell. And that smell is a damn good smell. I can see myself using that whole bottle. So with the vanilla, it smells good, don't get me wrong. But it literally just brought me back to something that I can't even remember. Like, this is a specific smell for me. It's like I know this smell. Oh, that shit smell good. It's like I know that smell, but I it, it like literally triggered my memory, but I can't go to that particular memory. 
all right you guys that is everything okay so yes that is everything that i got in april y'all think i did too much y'all think it's time for a no buy or are y'all enjoying these videos comment down below and let me know if y'all enjoying these videos because i could tell y'all i enjoy buying this stuff I can tell y'all that I enjoy buying this stuff. Like, good Lord, I hope you don't say yes. Ah, uh, because there's so much more I want to get. And these are all the beauty supply ones that I marked off. You probably can't see it, but I went ahead and put them on there and marked them out. And if y'all talk about how big my font is, I'm, I'm, nah, let me stop. Don't talk about how big my font is, okay? Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know what was your favorite perfume that I picked up or let me know what's your favorite perfume at the moment. What have you picked up lately? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell. And I will see y'all in the next one. Deuces.